Well, that is for Maltese. Takes a step with his back foot to, to the side of. Ain't no more sitting back. Ain't no more staying silent. It's it's time to move. I don't know about y'all, but we about to take over. I am the best. I am the toughest heavyweight in the division. I am the man in the division. I don't care what anybody else got going on in their country or what they doing. <laughs> you got to come through me and see me. What's up, family? How y'all doing, man? This the guys at the Sports Coma. I'm Big Q. Got DC via Skype. What's going on, DC? Yo, what's up, man? We talking about today, man. We're going to preview the Dante Wilder versus Luis Ortiz bout that's coming up on Saturday, March the 3rd, 2018. And that'll be at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. It's going down in the Big Apple between two serious heavyweights, of course, Deontay Wilder, the champ, marching in with a great record of 39-0 and 0 with 38 knockouts, and going against Lou Ortiz, uh, King Kong. So it's the Bronze Bomber versus King Kong, <laughs> Louis Ortiz. 28-0. Can I make a statement real quick? 28-0, 24 knockouts. What you got, DC? I think their names are backwards. <laughs> Dante Wilder fight like King Kong. And he called himself the Bronze Bomber. You know, yeah, Joe Lewis was the Brown Bomber. Ortiz fight more like Joe Lewis than Dante Wilder. <laughs> and Dante Wilder wild as hell like King Kong. They need to switch their names, man. They need to go ahead on and do that. You might have to switch the nicknames, but the, but the name is the game when it comes down to Dante Wilder. He's definitely... A wild fighter. Wow. He could he could definitely be wild at times, but he's a he's one of, he's a huge he's a fighter. Boy. He got a wild fight too. Six seven. He's about six seven. He got eighty three inch reach. Man, this guy could punch all the way from Kansas. Uh, thirty two years of age, thirty two years old, and he's going against Luis Ortiz. Twenty eight no twenty four knockouts. Big guy. Two four uh, two, uh, six foot four, two hundred forty pounds, eighty four inch reach. But he is a southpaw going against an orthodox guy, a uh, uh, fighter, yeah, thirty-eight big, years old. DC, you had an opportunity to look big, up. Big you had the opportunity to look up both of these fighters. Uh, what's your takes on Wilder and Ortiz? Starting with Ortiz. Man, I was actually uh, I knew of Ortiz. I've heard of him, but um, I didn't really dig into him that deeply. But Ortiz is actually a very scary fighter. I don't even think Anthony Joshua, who I think is probably uh, the best out of the three, but not by far. I don't think Anthony Joshua wants to see Ortiz. Um, Ortiz is a very technical fighter. He can hit you hard as hell coming from nowhere with that left hand. Um, there's no warning for his left hand. He doesn't have a setup move for it. He don't jab you first. He might come um, come underneath one of your punches or weave back and just come out of nowhere with that left hand. So um, him being a southpaw and Dante Wilder being um, an orthodox fighter, I think that may present a bit of a challenge for Dante Wilder. I'm not, I don't think he's fought in any southpaws, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, Dante Wilder has a serious right hand. And I mean, he, he punched the Jesus out of you. <laughs> Um, 
and that's basically the main thing he got going in his reach. He's very, very long. Uh, Ortiz is short, but Ortiz can bring power from the outside or the inside. Dante Wilder, you know, I I don't really see him doing a lot on the inside. I'm sure he can bring some power, but he's a long fighter, so he's gonna have to keep Ortiz at a distance. And the 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 thing with this fight, man, if Ortiz can eliminate uh, Dante Wilder's that 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 right hand, that serious right hand that he got, if he can take that away. Uh, if he can do that, man, it, it'd be a very interesting fight, and I think uh, Dante Wilder could wind up losing this fight. But there was another boxer, I think his last name was Washington. He attempted to do the same thing. He did take away Dante Wilder's right hand for a large amount of the fight, but once Dante Wilder landed that right hand, put him to sleep. Yeah, that, this is an interesting bout between two really big fighters. Uh, we previewed the other bout between uh, Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker, which I think is probably going to be a, a better fight because I think both of those guys... You are, think so? Yeah, I think it'll be a better fight. I, I, and, and this is I why. So. Dante, Dante, so. Dante Wilder, to me, uh, going against Ortiz. Ortiz, uh, uh, some of these guys, and I'm not going to be honest with you, the heavyweight division for, for a while been a very weak division, but it seemed like these four fighters are like the cream of the crop when it comes to yeah, the heavyweight the division. These are the top people. So this was a good, this was good, a good look for both Joshua and uh, and Dante Wilder, who couldn't get together on the fight, but to have, hey, I guess, I like they, to they have tune-up fights. They get tune-up fights so they can go ahead and fight. This is this is this is what it is. Well, Think about know. it. They, they, ain't, they ain't gonna need to fight for about another six or seven months after these. They're looking at this, the, the, I, the cool. idea is is that. You know, Wilder gets Ortiz, Joshua gets Parker, and they tune. These are tune-up fights to get ready for the December bout, November, December, when they have the super fight between Wilder and Joshua. The only problem is they got to get through Parker and, and Ortiz to get there. And this, this must be the tune-up when they change the timing belt and everything, because this is this kind of serious. The water pump, the sparks plugs, all of that. We, let's, let's look at let's check it. Fight, man. Now, going back to the Wild and Ortiz bout, there was some a flap that happened between the fact that Ortiz failed a couple of uh, drug tests, and of course it was the comment that <laughs> that, that Wilder smoke. made about once a cheater always a cheater, and they had this bout set to to happen before before it uh, originally was canceled due to the fact that uh, Ortiz uh, tested dirty, but he said it was blood pressure medication what have you. So he's got a history of that kind of stuff going on. But I think he'll steer straight for this fight. The issue is, did I, I, Dante Wilder hasn't fought, I haven't seen his repartee, you might disagree with me, a fighter as competent as Ortiz is, that he's oh, faced. Well, I'm so, not disagreeing with you on this thing. Okay, so <laughs> if, or, and, and I can see the same thing about Ortiz, has not seen a fight on his resume of Dante Wilder's caliber. So these guys are both, will be testing each other in areas that they have not been tested before. The only issue is, can Wilder overwhelm Ruiz? Because I know Ruiz, got, Ortiz, excuse me, Ortiz has the ability and the power and both punches uh, to flatten Wilder if he if he's caught. He has the ability to knock him out. I would say the issue, but he has got a left hand. He got a lot of problems. Well, I mean, he's not just David Tua now. He don't have just a mean left hand. But that left hand is where it's at. Right. But if you see, I've seen fights where he flattened people with his right hand, too. He have good combinations. He's a big fighter, but he, he's a skill big. He don't get credit for being a, a, a very big, a, a skilled very, big fighter. Good. Very skilled. He fight like a middleweight, man. Uh, Ortiz, Ortiz has good footwork. He's got a lot of speed to him for a heavyweight, and he has excellent combinations. Well, let's look at Let's do a little backdrop on these fighters. Don, uh, let's start with... Uh, uh, Ortiz. Ortiz is a guy, of course, uh, he's a, a black Cuban and he represents his country uh, well. And, 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 and to see what he, he's, he's a, a member of the Cuban national team, he's a southpaw fighter. And some people call him one of the world's most dangerous heavyweights. Now, he's from Miami, Florida. He is, man. And he's 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 up uh, he's, he's like I said he's six four he's two hundred and forty pounds he's a menacing fighter he's undefeated twenty eight and zero with twenty four knockouts so we can't take nothing away from Lewis Ortiz 
even though everybody, he don't talk much. He did say in a few interviews uh, uh, that Dante Wilder, he wants to fight Wilder because Wild, Wilder uh, is, you know, he talks a lot of bullshit. He's not, you know, he, he, yeah. he, he he's not really he, he a talking fighter. He called Joshua too. Yes. I think that was the same interview. Right. So let's go. Let's let's look at Dante Wilder and go go a little breakdown of Dante Wilder. Then we'll go into our calls on who we think gonna win this thing. Dante Wilder, of course, we know he's from Tuscal Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Thirty-two years old. He's six seven, two hundred and thirty pounds, and he has that massive eighty-three uh, inch uh, reach. But the thing is, Ortiz has an eighty-four inch reach, so this is gonna be interesting. He has power in both hands, has the ability to punch from awkward angles, and then he yes, he, he, he can fight you from afar, and then in, encroach on and encroach on you in a second to to make the kill. So he is a very dangerous man as well. He's, he's an all around boxer, man. I mean, I don't I don't see a lot of holes in his game, right? Other than physical limitations. Former, his age. he's a former Olympian, and he took it from being a from a former. Uh, inexperienced Olympian to becoming a heavyweight champion. So, um, Dante Wilder, man, he, he had to earn it the hard way. And he's here. 39 and 0. 38 knockouts. Man, this is this is just really good it's boxing. Amazing, here. Now, let's get into it. I'm going to give you the opportunity I first, think, uh, DC. You make the call who wins this fight in what round? I want to say something before I make the call. I just want to give a shout out to Dante Wilder, man. I think a lot of people underestimate him. He's talking about his competition, and the dude has 38 knockouts and 39 fights. Well, he beat everybody he's he supposed to beat, you know. And he has a title belt. I mean, yeah, he did. He, but he I mean, knock out whoever you put in front of him. You got a weak heavyweight right. class, whatever. I'm gonna just knock him out. It's just a lot to be said about that, man. The dude tried to fight Andy Joshua. He never ran from him. He's clearly here fighting Ortiz, and he didn't have to. He didn't have to fight Ortiz at all. But with all that being said, I'm going to say, I think this fight potentially goes to maybe about round eight. And I say Dante Wilder, uh, finally, after a lot of um, lot of craftiness from Ortiz, he finally catches Ortiz with that big right hand. Because I think a lot of people think Dante Wilder doesn't have endurance. But I think he's built to go 12 rounds. He just doesn't usually have to. Um, so I think he finally catches him with one of them wild punches with that right hand and put Ortiz down. But prior to that, it'll it'll be a very entertaining fight with Ortiz landing some combinations, maybe stunning Dante Wilder, maybe possibly making them uh them gloves touch the mat. I think it's gonna be a real good fight and it could go either way. But I'm gonna say Wilder and eight. Wilder and eight do the KO. That's the call. That's the call. I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm going to definitely say that Dante Wilder's going to win this fight over the Luis Ortiz. I like both of these fighters. I think Dante Wilder Ortiz can very easily win this fight though. I think Dante Wilder is 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 just is, is to me wants it more. And he sees himself on another not saying Ortiz doesn't. But Dante Wilder to me is on a mission. And and I just think that uh he's going to pose a real tough challenge for Ortiz. More so than Ortiz could do for Wilder, and I don't think he gonna knock him out. Uh, a KO, I think it'll be a technical, a TKO style knockout, in which the, re the referee stopped the fight in the later <laughs> rounds. So I say round ten or eleven, that's when the rounds will be stopped uh, uh, because of uh, what he's what, what Wilder's gonna do. Because Wilder's gonna start off, he's gonna be a tactician, and he's gonna look. He's a patient guy to land those big shots, and they're gonna mount up on Ortiz. You know, and I just think that it. I just think that's how it's gonna go. So that's my call. But, but I you just got, you got you got a, a tease that southpaw though, man. He coming from that true. different angle. I hear you. I think yeah. it's gonna be hard for Wilder to, to to get them power shots early, man. I think he's got to go through an adjustment period of trying to feel him and, and see what he's. That's why I say. That's why I say a later round. That's why. That's why I say a later round, Rocker, because I think hey, Dante. I you said he was gonna pop. He was gonna face up in the beginning. No, no, I say later round knockout because Wilder can cut the ring off from Ortiz. Ortiz is not the guy going to be running away from. Him. I mean, if you look at it, Ortiz is kind of tailor made. Right, right? Both like a fight, man. They do, but Ortiz <laughs> is the kind of guy that I think that will, you know, that they'll meet in the center of the ring and they'll find uh, they'll this their styles really match. So, I mean, it's going to be a difficult matchup here 
uh, for both fighters because I don't think either one has fought either uh, guy on any round. But I think Dante Wilder, to me, going to win this fight because it just seems like, to me, he on a mission. And I think Luis Ortiz, he just sees him as a speed bump on his way to getting uh, Anthony Joshua lined up uh, if he can knock down Joseph Parker, which is I think that's probably going to be a better fight because um, I think Parker is a better heavyweight than Ortiz is. And uh, down to all damn Joshua's about what and what. So, I mean, that's my take on it. I think Ortiz is probably the, the most skilled heavyweight outside of uh, Andy Joshua. Andy yeah, Joshua. That's saying a lot. Were you saying Joseph Parker? From, from a technical standpoint. Joseph Parker is good. He's not a bad fighter. I just feel the overall package of what Ortiz brings to the table, along with the long experience that he has from yes. being 38 years old. He do. Um, he's a smarter fighter than almost all of them. We'll see. We'll see if he smarts, smarts Dante Wilder in the fight. Remember, y'all, it's March the 3rd. It's a Saturday, 2018. That's next month at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. It's going down. Um, currently, that's about eight days away, 23 hours, and about, uh, excuse me, eight days, 23 hours, and 28 minutes from. Get your popcorn ready. This is going to be a good one. It's, and Mark, the month of Mark, the March is going to be a good bout. Because we got Wilder early, and then later in that in that month is Parker and Joshua as uh, yeah. the fights line up for later on the year. So so that, then that after uh, that, they Wilder have and Canelo, Joshua uh, Triple G coming back around, right? Yeah. So we got Round quite a good that. we got a couple of good fights lined up for the for the month of March. So that's our call on it. This is a uh, big Q and DC from the Sports Coma calling the Wilder oh, versus Ortiz bout. So get your popcorn ready, right, DC? Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to have mine, so y'all better get yours because uh, y'all won't miss this. Well, that's just, this is our calls. I want to thank y'all for joining us on the Sports Coma special boxing presentation video report. Sure. Y'all can subscribe, uh, share the show, like our page for more content, and uh, we'll be around. Thank you very much. Peace. All right.